In this problem, you're a relationship scientist, and you've developed a questionnaire that determines a person's love score, a real-valued number between 0 and 100. Your theory is that two people with similar love scores should make a good match. Given the love scores for 10 different people, create a matrix where element ij gives the absolute difference of the love scores for person i and person j. All right, so here's the solution that I came up with. And before we break it down, let's go ahead and do np.set underscore print options. And we'll say line width equals 999. So here I've told NumPy not to wrap a line of text unless it exceeds 999 characters. By default, I think it wraps after 75 characters. Now in general, the set print options method is pretty handy, and if you dig through it, you might find some print options you wanna change to suit your personal preference. So now let's dig into the actual logic of the solution. The trick here is really about broadcasting. If we could restructure the love scores array into a vertical column like this, in other words, a single column of a 2D array, and then subtract a row of love scores like this, the result will broadcast into a difference matrix like this. Here, the ij value in the difference matrix corresponds to the ith value in the column minus the jth value in the row. And from there, we can just use np.abs to get the absolute difference between pairs of love scores. So the question is, how do I restructure the love scores array as a column and a row? And the key there is to give love scores a new axis using np.newaxis or alternatively, the keyword done. So if I say love underscore scores, open square brackets, colon comma none, it gets a new last axis. In other words, it goes from a 10 by array to a 10 by one array. And if I do love underscore scores, square brackets, none comma colon, it gets a new first axis and it goes from a 10 by array to a one by 10 array. So then I can just subtract these and take the absolute value to get the desired result. Also note that I actually don't need to promote this guy to a one by 10 array. I could just leave it as a 1D array like this. And NumPy will promote it for me. But personally, I kind of like being explicit about it because I think it makes it more obvious what's happening. <laughs> 